All right, so hello everybody and welcome back to All Key Shop TV, guys. So for now, guys, Claire has to rest for a bit, guys, and I will be with you for the next two hours. So by the way, for those who just came in, my name is Icy and I will be your host for today. And guys, Claire already made the giveaway for each and everyone, so I want everybody, or not really want, but I invite everybody to please, of course, join or participate in our giveaway. Just comment out exclamation point giveaway in the comment section below. So here are today's headlines. Rainbow Six Siege Season 2 details re revealed. Bethesda's E3 showcase may be its longest re ever. Capcom announces Street Fighter 30th anniversary, anniversary tournaments. Fortnite's 50 vs 50 mode returns in Battle Royale. Player players can now throw apples at each other in PUBG's Sanok map. Rocket League gets cross-platform party support. Hunt Shutdown gets its first content update. Diablo gets upgrades and more of that guys as we rerun this news. So moving on. Let's have the first update for, the, for today's news, of course. Ubisoft has revealed more details on Rin, Rainbow Six Siege's upcoming Operation Parabellum update. First off, Echo will be receiving a significant buff. He will now have a second drone aside from Echo. Other operators will receive some tweaks. Operators with three speed will be slightly slower once update is live and while those with one speed will move a little faster. Additionally, movement speed with the hanged gun will receives a small increase the new map is now also called villa so guys i want you to watch the update of uh, parabellum And guys, that's Parabellum. So what do you think about that? Just comment down here your thoughts below. And of course, guys, um, I would like to, of course, give a shout out to all those viewers of All Key Shop TV today. We have Mock Fluffy 0560. We have Canrex, guys. We also have Zed the Impa Impaler 1. Hi to you. I think I just met you here at All Key Shop TV. How are you doing today, guys? We have Strahindra Pro, we have Orbidden in the house, also Orbidden, how are you doing today? I think I just met you here, Laxeter of course, also, how are you doing today guys? So thanks for tuning in to All Key Shop TV. E3 2018 is approaching very fast and Bethesda is one of the companies that will be presenting. The company's marketing VP Pete Hines said that this year could be the longest presentation ever for Bethesda. The company usually keeps announcements close to E3, that is why it is usually packed. Bethesda's conference will be on June 10th, Sunday at 6.30pm Pacific time we could also expect other conferences from the other companies like ea microsoft sony and more of that guys as we rerun this news and guys we have orbiden um did she say her name is icy yes that is so true orbiden my name is icy that's i c y <laughs> it means it's really cold and um that's so um opposite for me because my purse or um, well, of course, my personality, I'm not that cold. And of course, I hate um, really a cold, cold, uh, a very cold place or something like that. So, but anyways, my name is Icy. So moving on, it is Street Fighter's 30th anniversary and some tournaments have been planned for the year. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo will be the next or will be held in two CEO 2018 Daytona Beach, Florida from June 29th to July 1st. The next one is the Street Fighter Alpha 3 starting on September 14th up until the 16th and will happen in so Soko Regionals 2018 in Ontario, Canada. The third tournament is Street Fighter 3 Third Strike located in Canada Cup 2018, Toronto, Ontario on October 26th to the 28th. And and each would be uh, a total price of, or each would be uh, the price of seven thousand dollars, guys. So, and um, that would be very awesome, guys. And yes, um, it seems that you are having um, puns on your names, guys. And it seems that Orbidden um, just had my name. Um, the, I just had my name with a pun, guys. So, did she say her name is Icy? Wow, I love that. And we have Hashid 200 in the house, guys. Also, game of over 44 lover. Hi to you, guys. We have Silen Var. Hello there, host. Hi to you, Silen Var. How are you doing today? And of course, a Fortnite's 50 versus 50 limited time event is making a comeback and it will play simultaneously with another limited time event. The Infinity Gauntlet mashup, this new 50 versus 50 event, will have two teams of 50 players and will have 10 minutes 
to loot the map as the storm circles closes in. So here the supply drops will also fall every two minutes and more of that guys as we rerun this news. And guys, oh we are now down to 915 viewers. Wow, thank you so much guys for tuning in to All Key Shop TV. You guys are the best. And we have Tim Tom Walla Walla. <laughs> I love the name, Tim Tom Walla Walla. Whoa, new host. Yes, indeed, we will be having new host every two hours every two hours guys but um only me and claire um are like uh, switching today guys so after two hours guys you will be seeing claire again and for now um you will be with me for two hours and by the way guys my name is icy moving on a fun thing has been added to the players and known so battlegrounds a newest tropical or tropical map called sanak which was previously known as codename savage the map is still actually in its testing phase and it's only only available on the test server for pc and the fun addition to the map is that you will be able to throw apples while waiting for the game to begin. This apple fighting activity was seen during the game's alpha phase and players had been requesting for it, guys. So, and of course, guys, who would love to throw apples? I would love that one, guys. And let's have some, um, of course, some comments down here. Ohad28, hi, I think I just met you at all. Meet, I met you here at All Key Shop TV. Thank you so much for tuning in. How are you doing today, by the way, Ohad? Anyone want to trade Amnesia a machine for pigs for other game? <laughs> Anyone there, guys? Um, McFluffy0560. Uh, that 50 versus 50 mode is about to, the only mode I can play as you can be completely useless and still have a chance to win. Oh, you also play Fortnite, McFluffy0560. Wow, that's great to hear then. So, uh, Cyanex has announced that the long-awaited cross-platform support will be coming this summer for Rocket League. This newest feature will be a part of the planned update that is arriving in July or August. Players will need to register an in-game ID and then add friends from other platforms by entering their ID into the new in-game friends list. Then of course guys, party up and play online. And uh, more of that guys as we rerun this news. And uh, we have G-Sharks at Tim. Tim, Tom, Walla Walla, yep, say hi to Icy. <laughs> Thanks for that one, G-Sharks. And we have Tim, Tom, Walla Walla, Icy. Wow, that's an interesting name. Oh, thank you so much. I do find uh, my name really unique because, um, of course, I don't see or I don't hear um, other people who have the same name as mine, but I think it's too short for me. It's icy. Oh my god. Anyways, that uh, critics monster field PvPVE haunt showdown is getting its very first major content update. It includes a ton of changes and additions, and we are giving you the notable ones only. One change is that camping is now more difficult as the compound layout has been changed. Also, 12 new traits, 11 additional outfits, as well as the addition of a short scoped pistol, four new rifles that have short to long range scopes. A flush bomb as well as a potion bomb. Changes were also made for fall damage and more. Alright guys, so what do you think about that? Just comment down here your thoughts below. And of course guys, uh, Team Tom Walla Walla. I also find your username uh, very interesting. Hmm. By the way, Team Tom Walla Walla, what's your real name? Heroes of the Storm has a new update for Diablo. The biggest change that he is getting is an upgrade fire, upgraded fire storm. This ability now has triple damage when returning and can be specifically aimed as a skill shot. He can now earn souls much faster as well as unlock some amazing talents. Also, this time around around, Diablo can now take advantage of skilled ability poisoning or positioning to have more fire stomps. And the update will be coming in May and it will be possibly land on a Tuesday guys and will come with other updates. And thank you so much, guys, and still for tuning in to All Key Shop TV. And guys, I would like to acknowledge our new follower today. Wow, we have Artema X44. You, uh, thank you so much for following All Key Shop TV. You are really the best. And uh, well, welcome to the family, of course. I love you so much. And um, of course, uh, moving on, guys. Minecraft is getting a new upgrade, and it is called a Bedrock. The Minecraft Bedrock Edition will let PC, Switch, and Xbox One users play Man Minecraft together. This new update will be released in June and it will be available through the eShop for Switch. For those who already have the Minecraft, Nintendo Switch Edition, a free update at the, of the Bedrock version is available. This will be the very first cross-play support available for Nintendo Switch with the Windows 10 PC, Xbox One, mobile and VR platforms.
And guys, we have Eustathios Octoplouts in the house. Hi. Um, I wish you good luck, Eustathios Octoplouts. And guys, till 28 guys is open for trading. Um, he, does anyone there want to, uh, Amnesia Machine for pigs uh, for trade, guys? So if you really want this game, guys, go and trade it uh, to Mr. or to Uhad28, guys. So moving on, Sony was able to release an early glimpse of the games that they will be presenting at E3. Also, they are inviting all of us to join them on June 12th at 2 e AM BST, the program will be broadcast live from Los Angeles, California via PlayStation.com slash E3, Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook. Exclusive titles will be seen in the presentation, especially for Death Stranding, Ghost of Tsushima, Marvel's Spider-Man, and The Last of Us Part 2. Learn more about their E3 presentation via the PlayStation blog. All right, guys. So if you want to know more about the presentation, guys, just uh, go to viral login via PlayStation blog. And we have Tim Tom Walla Walla Ben Dover. Oh, so your real name is Ben Dover. Wow, what a very nice name. And you mentioned, right, that there was a, a reason behind my name. That is so true. There is indeed a reason why uh, my parents or my mom named me Icy. Anyways, very good or very nice name, though, Tim Tom Walla Walla Ben Dover. Why, by the way, where are you from, Ben Dover? So, a new beta update for Total War Saga, Thrones of Britannia, will make the game a bit harder to take on. The new update is discussed by game director Jack Lusted said that every change has been considered, debated, and agonized over. The update is said to be launched on May 15th, which will come with bug and UI fixes, but the main change will be for the difficulty setting that will offer a more challenging gameplay to the players. The full content of the patch has not been announced, and we will know all on the 15th, guys. So, guys, Mark your calendars that would be on the 15th so um, for those um, Britannia or lovers out there guys or players um, and of course who love challenges so this is a really uh, the one that fits for you guys and we have Velox RSA welcome at Artimov X44. Wow, that's so sweet of you. Um, thank you so much for that one, Velox RSA. By the way, how are you doing today? We have Benala20 in the house, guys, participating in our giveaway. So I wish you guys good luck. I hope you win. And of course, Square Enix has announced update 4.3 for Final Fantasy 14, which comes with a new Ivalize Raid. This will be rolled out on May 22nd. The Ivalize Raid continues the, re the return to Ivalize series with which began last year. It has a new 24-person ride around a lighthouse alliance raid set in the world of Final Fantasy Tactics and Final Fantasy XII. It continues the Stormblood storyline by sending players to the far eastern land of Doma.